pedal aficionados to another Rebel pedal from G-Lab. This time we're looking at a booster. Into tons of amps. And if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm going to have to repeat all the things about the Rebel pedals, which are all the same. So I'm going to say this six times because there is six Rebel pedals. But G-Lab, have I mentioned that? This is what they look like. It's not what the booster looks like, because the booster is gray. They all have different colors. The LEDs have the same colors. So from the top, they all just gonna look black to you because you can't see the side. That's why the LED will illustrate what the side looks like. Pretty clever. The only problem is the LED is illuminated and then when you engage the pedal, it's illuminated more. So you have to decide if it's on or not. Is that bright or is that not bright? I think it could be done slightly better. But we get to that. Everything else is pretty damn awesome. The pedals range, as far as I heard, uh, again, they're not out yet, or maybe today they are, but as of the filming, so I don't really know the pricing. They should be between 100 and about 130 euro, which is a great price point for this kind of quality. Really cool chassis. Um, all pedals are three knob pedals, no hidden features, no switches, no anything. Three knobs, you see is what, what you see, you boohoo, what you see is what you get. Um, really cool soft clicky switch with a spring just the same as on their looper switches and from the side we can see that that is pretty damn sexy right here and a big ass star saying stomp here you can see um, in and out on the left and right without any um, washers or anything and on the back there's this really cool um, just the way that I like it 9 volt, chassis mounted, super boutique, that's how every pedal should look. And there's of course MIDI, which I will get to in a second. At the bottom, oopsie, at the bottom you can see that they marked where you should put the stick-on included rubber feet. And there's also two holes with threads for the screws that come with it. And instructions right there on the distance of the holes when you want to drill into your pedal board. So you can actually make two holes into your pedal board and screw this to the pedal board for good, which is a pretty cool idea. Everything you need is included. So, um, I can't tell if the knobs are metal, but I think they're metal knobs. The quality of this is really good. Is it made in Poland? Made in Poland. Made in Poland by Polish people that are cool. Um, I like the G-Lab people, they're clever, they make good stuff. And let's talk about MIDI. This is an analog pedal, well, this isn't, but this is the, the one we're looking at. It's an analog pedal, and all that the MIDI does, it turns it on and off. So you can engage bypass by sending a continuous controller on channel, I think, 11? Yep. Um on a certain continuous controller number and when you send uh, continuous controller number 20 whatever that is and then 127 turns the pedal on and zero as a value turns the pedal off which allows you to put that booster ahead or in front of your looper switcher and all the looper switcher loops and you're not blocking any loops in your looper switcher and you can just engage it or disengage it with MIDI, which is pretty cool because it saves you space on your looper switcher. So if you have a MIDI capable looper slash switcher on your pedal board, you can remote control all the pedals. That's all that MIDI is for, nothing else. Pretty cool, pretty clever G-Lab. And then you go in and then through to the other pedals and you can control all of them with the MIDI. Now we're looking at the Adrenaline Booster. I had to double check. Pretty damn simple. Gain, volume, tone, it boosts. It's not an overdrive, it's not a distortion, so don't expect amazing amounts of gain. It's to push what you have to be more than what you have had, 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 have had. We're testing this with a bunch of amps and with this FGN Expert Flame uh, it doesn't, I was going to say Seema Duncan Loader, but those are FGN pickups. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful guitar. Whoopsie. Look at this. Very nice. Clocks in about 2000 bucks, which is a steal for the quality you get. Hand rounded frets. Um, bound in a maple fretboard. This is just a great axe. So, 
Uh, this is going right now into the Tone King Sky King down there, Mike the Lewitt MTP 440, but you're also hearing the Ox mixed in with a 412 Queenberg loaded cap, both of them mixed together, but we're off, of course going to go into tons of amps, which are all going to go through the same setup, including the Tone King cap. Let's see, make that a bit smaller, because I mean, come on, three controls, come on. You can see that even smaller. So, right now it's off, and right now it's on. Hmm, tough to see. This is the clean on the Tone King. <laughs> Helps when you put the fingers on the frets. He said and did it wrong again. Adds a bit, bit of a mid kick, and it adds boost a little bit. If you want a little bit more presence, a little bit more in your faceedness, in your faceedity. That's all it does so far, which is pretty damn cool, because sometimes you want just that. That's my sound, and I'm introducing a song. And now I want to rock. That's really all I need. Engage this puppy, or with MIDI. Pretty neat. Let's see how much more gain there is. Gain just thickness and girth. Obviously, with the boost, uh, volume, how much you're pushing into the amp, is interdependent with gain. Get a huge difference. It's more of a feel. With more volume comes a little bit more low. Good, let's see what tone does. Mm -hmm. 
it does just as much as on the other pedals, which is a subtle trim to be a little bit brighter or not so bright. And um, that's perfect to adjust it to different amps, which is what we're gonna do now. We're gonna start by going into the Marshall SV20H, which is the thing I call the mini plexi, and it sounds without the pedal like so. giant amounts of gain because it's a boost it gives you pretty much more of what that thing is uh, we're moving on to the Marshall JCM 800 <laughs> gives you more of the Marshall while still being the Marshall. We're moving on to the Rev D20. Let's see if we can get more of the Rev D20 while being the Rev D20. I'm gonna tune again. It's more of the Rev D20. Morgan AC20. Love that sound? Let's see if I can get, can get more of the Morgan AC20. <laughs> it's all there. It just stays the same, just more of it. <laughs> Love it. Moving on. Uh, well, let's do the oh, Friedman Dirty Shirley. That's a good idea because that's already cranked. <laughs> it's the Dirty Shirley, just more Shirley. <laughs> the Shirley. That's pretty good. I like it. Uh, Synergy Sin 50, which is the OS module right now, and that means it's a Dumbo on clean. 
and it stays exactly that, just more. <laughs> That's great. It does exactly that. Rocker verb, orange. Well, it, which is on clean right now. So you got the orange rocker verb. And again, it's exactly that, just more of it. Everything gets retained. Just more here. You can see that here, here, more, more here. Jet City Emilia by itself. <laughs> Achilles Argos, which is basement-y. I want more of that. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, this is pretty damn simple. Blow that thing up, which is pretty much what it does by itself. Thank you, Leslie. Um, the adrenaline booster gives you more of what you already have. If you love your amp, but you want that extra push over the cliff, you want to go to 11, that's what a good booster is supposed to do. A good booster is supposed to not change what you already love about your amp. And I think the Rebel, no, the adrenaline booster from the Rebel series, from G Lab, there's three things. Um, does exactly that. The only thing we're going to bitch about is not price, it's not build quality, it has MIDI, it has metal knobs, great chassis, everything about it is the way it's supposed to be. Except that light, which is now off and now on. Eh, could be could be flashing or could be some other way to illustrate the color of the pedal. Other than that, this is great. Check it out with your amp if you like what you heard. This is recommended. I have to say I'm getting paid for this video. I hope you can still trust me. I truly hope so. If not, why are you watching this? Um, thanks, Jesse, for switching. I put links below. Uh, thanks, GLab. This is pretty damn good. I'm impressed. Animals at the end.